Hi friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our 26th video in PyQD5 GUI development. So in the previous video, we have learned that how you can insert data to your MySQL database using a, a PyQD5. Now in this video, we are going to learn that how you can retrieve data uh, from MySQL database in your queue table widget using PyQD5. So now the first thing we need, we need to uh, create our design. So I'm going to, I have already opened my QT designer. And I want to choose Q, uh, widget and click on create. So the first thing in here I need to add a horizontal layout and in the horizontal layout I want to add a line edit and also I'm going to add a label so after this we need to just add another horizontal layout add another line at it and also a label now after adding this uh, we need to add a vertical layout so in here Okay, now in the VBox layout, we need to add a table widget, so like this. And also, we are going to add a Q push button in the in this uh, VBox layout. So let me just add it in here. Now I'm going to just select and layout vertically. And if you preview this, uh, let me just preview. So you can see that this is our UI design. Okay, now the first thing I need, I'm going to change the uh, text to enter uh, DB name. And we need to change this to enter table name. And also we need to change this uh, the object name. So the first one is db db name, and this is uh, table name table name. And uh, we need to choose the number of uh, column and also rows in here. So let me just uh, give it. Uh, eight and uh, three and for the push button i'm going to just say show data or we can say show data now we are going to save this also save and it is select select dot ui so after saving we need to copy the UI file and we need to add that in the scripts folder so this is my python installation and uh, we have scripts and we can add, add this in here so it's select okay this is our UI file and uh, now we need to convert this so we are going to use pyuic5 and this is uh, PYUIC5 and open in terminal so this is our scripts folder in the terminal and now we can say PYUIC5 and this is uh, our UI name and the output should be select.py we have uh, Okay, now it's converted, and if we see our scripts folder, ah, uh, yeah, now you can see we have select.py, and we need to bring this. So now we can find select okay this is the converted file and uh, 
now if I run this so now you can see we want we are going to enter the DB name the table name and after that it will retrieve the data for us so now the first thing I need I'm going to create a method in here and I want to do my all coding in the method so diff select data okay uh, also we need to import a mysql connector because we are using mysql connector so import mysql dot connector as mc so try and in here the first thing we need we need to get the database name from the line edit or from the user so we can say self dot line edit db name dot text and after this we need to just uh, also get the table name self dot line edit table name dot text and now we can connect our I'm going to create my dbmc.connect so in here the first thing I need I need to add the host so it's local host and the user so the user is root and we have password so there is no password I'm going to, I want to leave it blank and the database is uh, our db name so this is the database name okay now uh, after doing this uh, let me just create my accept mc dot error as e and I want to just say print error occurred uh, now we need to create the object of our cursor so my cursor my db dot cursor so after this now we need to execute our query so we can say my cursor dot execute so select all from dot format and we want to add the table name in here uh, now after doing this uh, we are going to create our result and in here we want to fetch our all data uh, now we can use a cursor so we can say my cursor dot fetch all uh, so now we need to get the row number the row and also column number from the from our uh, database and we want to add that to the table widget so now in here we can say self dot table widget dot set row count to zero. First we want to set the row count to zero, and after that we can just say for row number and row data and enumerate. And in here we want to add our result and uh, also we are going to just say self dot table widget uh, dot insert row and we want to insert row in the row number and now we need to do this for the column number so we can say for column number data and in here we want to get the data so in enumerate result uh, so this time we want to use row data and now we can say cell dot table widget dot set item now for the set item we need row column and also table widget item so now in here we have our row number and we have our column number and also you need queue table widget item so now we need to import queue table widget item 
so in here we can say from pyqt5.qt uh, widgets we need q table widget item so we have error in here no problem we will check this okay now in here we can add our uh, q table widget item and we need to type cause this to string and we are going to add our data in here so in here we have error it's because because in here we have my import so we have said import mysql.connector as mc now we have created our uh, function now we need to add this to the uh, to our push button so in here we have our push button and we can say self dot push button dot uh, clicked dot connect self dot select data okay now in here I want to enter the DB name so my DB name is uh, pyqt5 and the table name is users and show data so now you can see that these are our data from the database so if I add another uh, for example I'm going to add another uh, database that I have now let me show you I have a my DB in here and also there's a users table and I have uh, these data uh, in, in here so now we can insert uh, so this is ID and this is auto increment let me add an email uh, my email at gmail.com and this is for example my email is password okay now we have uh, if we see okay now we have so this is another database and I want to retrieve so now this time I'm going to add the DB name to my DB and the table is users so now we can see that we have retrieved our data in the queue table widget so thank you guys uh, if you have any question please let me know if you want the source codes you can just check my website uh, geekscholars.com or you can check the video description